how did this go? Uh, it's all over. Tony and Ajay have gone to drop the ambulance. Uh, Abbas, I am glad. I am glad that you personally supervised the cleanup. That incident got me worried, you know. I don't know what has suddenly come over Dr. Sidney. To perform a simple operation, a sack the cocaine, stitch it up. All have become a difficult task. And that's how the other girl died in, in, in the aircraft last time. Imagine that. That was a very embarrassing experience. And things would have gone real sour if not that um, Mr. Williams had to fly in from, from New York to sort things out. Ben isn't back yet. No, uh, but he called last night. He said um, there was a new development. What did he say it was? Uh, he didn't say. But I guess um, he will pull through. Oh, well. I'll be in my office if you need me. OK, I'll give you a shout. of America yesterday. We got into Lagos this morning. We're in Enugu now. Yes, we came in with a chartered flight. I came in with a gentleman. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be in the office in about 20, 30 minutes from now, okay? All right then. <laughs> see you, see you later. Be 
Please, may I speak with Mr. Charles Okere? No, I'm his wife. I'm calling from Nigeria. First he said he would send for me after two weeks. Then he stopped writing. He wouldn't want me to call him. And now he won't call either. I just managed to call him. And the woman answered the call and told me never to call that house. But, Nene, uh, Brother Charles never told me he was married. Like he never told me anything. Nene, I think you should just take things easy, huh? I'm sure Brother Charles is trying to work things out for you people. You just give him some more time. He's been working things out now for more than six months. Maybe it's time I start working things out myself. And, uh, yeah, has it got into that? I have to go to America. America? I mean, how do you intend to achieve that? Well, uh, I, I know things are not working too well with your business. I'll speak to my mother. I'm sure we can still work something out. Honestly, Nene, I'm, I'm, I'm having a strange feeling about this whole thing. I don't have any choice. Once again, I'll just have a reintroduction. Directly opposite me, we have the prince himself, Prince Simon Osazwa. <laughs> He's a prince from the Benin Kingdom. Uh, we're looking forward to the day he becomes the Oba of Benin. <laughs> <laughs> and by my left here, we have uh, the man we simply call Abbas. And to introduce our foreign visitors, we have on my far right, Mr. George Hamilton. And by my right here, all right, we have Mr. Walter Blackstone. He's a scientist from America, and he has a business proposition to make to us. Now, Mr. Walter, we're glad to have you in a mist. Feel free. After all, we are all genuine businessmen. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Mr. Ben Obi. You see, I am a scientist based in New York. Our organization is undertaking an experiment, a very peculiar experiment. And your company has been recommended as being mm. capable of supplying our needs. It's as simple as that. Well, we need people we're going to use for the experiments. And the experiment involves producing soft units, extra 
ordinary human being. W w wait a minute. Extraordinary human beings? It's precisely. Yes, extraordinary human beings. You see, products of humans and animals. Now, animals are too strong for the test, too hard to control. Mm -hmm. Humans, on the other hand, are very weak as compared to animals. That's why we need genetically fit, able-bodied young men and women who are going to sleep with these gorillas and chimpanzees to produce these subhumans. Incredible. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> genetically fit human beings to sleep with gorillas and chimpanzees. <laughs> these Americans. <laughs> so, where do we come in? Well, gentlemen, we are meant, or would I say, we are, well, supposed to supply these human cargoes. <laughs> this is very interesting. At what considerations, uh, Mr. Blackson, and what will be our payoff in this deal? Uh, $5,000 per person, man or woman. Come on, Mr. Blackstone. Come on, Mr. Blackstone. You, 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 you want um, to pay us $5,000 for genetically fit human beings, male and female? Oh, come on. It's, it's, it's too small. Make it $20,000 and we have a deal. Twenty? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, Prince, but I could take it up to $10,000 per person, but I'm afraid that would be my limit. I see. $10,000. By the way, what number are we talking about? How many people are we talking about? Well, we should need a minimum of 200 people right now. I see. Of course, we could require more later, but for now we just need 200 people. I see. <laughs> 200 people that means by $10,000 per person. Mm. Mr. Walter Blackstone, you have yourself a deal. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mr. Hamilton, mm -hmm. I'm just like to toast. And to the deal. Mr. Yeah. Um, well. Ruben Aguirre. Sir. You didn't feel this column. Do you have any chronic illness? Um, yes. No, no. The answer is yes. This is serious business, you know. We investigate the authenticity of all your claims. Well, gentlemen and lady, whoever pays up now will try on the trip for this Sunday. Be assured you are in perfect safe hands. Remember, our obligation ends with landing you in America. Thereafter, you find your way. What if one is repatriated? <laughs> Impossible. Mr. Rocky Igiebo, you can never be repatriated. Why? You have genuine passports and visas. Then why do you people choose to go through Cameroon? Of course you are aware that government France has decided in trooping out of the country. Any further questions? Um, yes, please. I was wondering if you guys have a particular deadline for payment. I mean, that's even cannot be on time. We travel every fortnight. Whenever you pay up, you join the group traveling for that period. Mr. Ruben Aguirre, there's absolutely no cause to worry. Quick Success Agents also gives you a list of addresses of our contacts over there who help you settle down and may even give you jobs. That is an added favor. That's good. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. All right. Mene, has it gotten to the extent that you're really like this? Mene, give me that. That even reminds me about that visa thing that we've been talking about. Mm-hmm. Found a place. You have? Who yes. told you about it? Well, a friend to my boyfriend did. And matter of fact, the last time I went there, you need to see the set of Americans that just came in just for this purpose. What? What? Uh, how much? I think it's about 200,000 naira or so. 
That's too much money. Nene, how can you say 200,000 is too much when you have people that pay up to 400,000 naira for an American visa? That's it, they're not due to. Look, my brother paid 250,000 last year to some people and they stuck with the money. It's not the money that is the problem now. It's how we're going to take care of your condition because I don't think they'll probably accept you like this. Hmm? Wait, wait, wait. Stand up. Let's try something. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Carry your shirt up. Let me just, let me just try something. And besides, I think if you're really serious about traveling, okay, that you can really do something. I mean, if you're very determined, you'll end up going. Yes. Let me see. Then we'll take this up, at least just to fool them a bit. Yeah? Take it in your stomach. Let's see how it goes. Try and take it with me. Voila. Uh-uh. See, see. <laughs> Tara, let me see first. Huh? Then I see you looking like one young thing. <laughs> but how long will I have to hold it? How long have you know you want to travel? You will travel now, you can't even let travel. <laughs> doesn't have anything to do with us, does it? Wait a minute. Are you saying that we cannot make the trip tonight? Oh, come on. These guys are crazy. What kind of nonsense is this? Look, back, 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 back. Let's decide on what to do. Um, Mr. Sakwe, what's the problem, please? I'm sorry. We cannot make the trip tonight. All borders are closed. Why? There's been an attempted coup in Cameroon. God, I've never been lucky all my life. Um, look, why don't you just go back? I think it's best that. No, I can't go back. Why? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Let's take it easy, relax now. This is there's no cause for alarm. This is just a, a temporary setback. You understand? I know of a good hotel where we can all lodge tonight. And tomorrow we'll continue the journey. Is that okay? Right, move, let's go.
Mama, if I have to make any sense out of all this trouble, then I have to go. And I haven't heard from my husband for more than five months now. Mama, the only day I managed to call him, the woman mm -hmm. picked up the phone. How can you go to America? Look at your condition, Mama. Mama, that's the only way I can make sense to all this trouble. I have to go. Dear America, how can I blame you, Nene? Before your father died, he said I must make sure of you go to school. I have tried. God knows I have tried. I can't kill myself. I have sold all my George Rappers and Hollandis to make sure you and Apollonia go to the university so that you can help me train Isaiah and then kill Ruka. But they took Apollonia away ever since you've been taking care of your younger one. Look at him, Kiruka. Our secret side will not allow us to drink water and drop the cup. Isaiah has just passed the job. He cannot go. I don't blame you for wanting to go to, go to America, Nene. Well, if Isaiah has passed the job, he cannot go. There is no money. Don't blame you for going to look for money. Oh. Hey. Mama, it's enough now. It's enough. Get her medicine. 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 Get her Land by the express. <laughs> At least it can be
लकी लकी कम बोल यू आर इन अमेरिका व्हाट डू आई से आ मैं री का स्पेंडिंग वन मोर टाइम व्हाट डू आई से आ मैं री का गुड नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू कॉल योर फादर ऑन द फोन एंड यू टेल हिम दैट यू लैंडेड सेफली इन न्यूयॉर्क एंड दैट यू गेट इन टच विद हिम एज सून एज यू सेटल डाउन व्हाट डू आई से you landed safely shut up and i i i i i hey me 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 i i i i i i landed safely what i landed safely in new york good god Remember, you are talking to your daddy. Understand? Good. Daddy, I landed safely in New York. I will get in touch with you as soon as I settle down. I landed safely. Go back to your seat. Go back to your seat. Okay. Lovely monkey. You want to go and monkey about in America? <laughs> See their faces. <laughs> Now look at the one of you. Sit down. Stand up. Sit down. Stand up. Sit down. Stand. Sit. Stand. Sit. Stand. 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 Sit. Who is the one of you? American monkey. You know, Billy should like this one. Just kind of cute. Billy. Oh, Billy, that's a giant gorilla. Well, never mind that one. One more thing before we shake hands on this. You know, this should make even a nun super wet. Make her take it. What's this? Just trust me. Look at take it. Nothing yet. Mm. This 
looked like magic. <laughs> <laughs> Monica, Man. I don't know what you and your children want me to do. Or you want me to say something that, so that it will start going around the village that, okay, Kitnaka, does not want the progress of his dead brother's wife and children. Man, uh -uh. Hold on, Monica. You see a bullet? No, you may be Do you hear me? That the head of the ram is in the bag of the ram. The land in question belongs to this boy, Isaiah. So, whatever you want to do with your own babies of land is entirely your business. Do not drag OKK Naka into it. Nay, nobody's dragging you. All we are saying is. Now, you know tradition forbids a woman from selling land. All we are asking is, if you can stand behind us when a buyer comes, so that uh -huh. at least we can... <coughs> oh. Oh. Uh. When a buyer comes, and then you call upon me, I will say bye. Is that not what you want me to do? That is it, man. Mm -hmm. I've heard you. I will do as you say. No. Hmm? <laughs> but, Isaiah, do you realize that that piece of land you want to sell belongs to you? And now you can okay, know. Make sure you don't have anybody to blame when the time comes. Are you hearing me? Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, and whenever you see a buyer, let me know. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. Save Johnny, okay? Myself, save yeah. Johnny. Well then, see ya. Same here. Best of luck. Thank you. All right then. Right. 
You have it. Work for my company, you refuse. Start some business, you can. Now you want to rush to America? By all means. This is what I know what to do. I have no doubt I will make it in the US. This whole idea or arrangement does not make any sense to me. Listen. I am sure these people, how are you sure these people are going to take you to America after paying all this amount? Uncle, these people are different. They operate through Cameroon. I know many people who have traveled through them, including a good friend of mine, America. I still don't think you should rush your wife to America. Listen, there are endless opportunities in this country, especially under this democratic dispensation. My father do, do not treat this one, Uncle. What was that you said? I said my father trained you, you inherited his business, and now you are trying Shut up your mouth, you silly boy! I see. I am sure your mother has been feeding you up with a lot of trash. Well, if that is the case, see me tomorrow in the office for a check of 200,000 in my room. And after that, don't you ever come to me for anything? Yes, uncle. Never! Yes, uncle. Is that clear? Yes, uncle. Kindly take our seats.
the success of our, of, of our company as well. When I said the company, I mean we, yeah, Hobart's Nigeria Limited. And um, as you all know, Prince Osazua here is an achiever of world class standard. Yeah. So we are celebrating five years of meritorious service to humanity and also five years of successful business in, 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 in a society. So, may we all stand up and uh, give a toast to Prince of Sasua and also the company. Yeah. Prince! To an achiever who has served humanity with all zeal and devotion, an unparalleled zeal and devotion, and to the company that has contributed immensely to the upliftment of the less privileged in the society. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and what else can I say? Better thank you for making our time to attend this August occasion. I'm pleased to have your presence. In this midst of jubilation and diversion, I wish to thank the Almighty Father for sparing me today with my friends, with my colleagues, most especially Pubas Nigeria Limited. Yes. I don't know how to thank you, my colleagues, for organizing this because it was through your persistent worries it was because you insisted that we have this. Yes. Otherwise, you all know I am a very busy person. Please, can we kindly take our seats? Prince <laughs> Simon of Sakwa, may I have the pleasure of having you stand out here, please? We're just a little bit of citation. Please put your hands together for you. Um, I don't intend to bother you beautiful ladies and gentlemen with long speeches. As you all know, we're here to eat, drink, celebrate, dance, and be merry. Celebrate, when I say celebrate that, celebrate because we're also celebrating with our very good friend here who just added one more year to his age. <laughs> <laughs> He is a king, a king and king, right there, uh, Prince Simon of Sasua here. Put your hands together, Mr. Yeah. We're celebrating the success of our, of, of our company as well. When I say the company, I mean we here, Hobart's Nigeria Limited. And um, as you all know, Prince of Sasua here 
is an achiever of world class standard. Yeah. So we are celebrating five years of meritorious service to humanity and also five years of successful business in, 98, in, in, in a society. So we all stand up and uh, give a toast to Prince of Sasua and also the company. Yeah. Prince! To an achiever who has served humanity with all zeal and devotion, an unparalleled zeal and devotion, and to the company that has contributed immensely to the upliftment of the less privileged in the society. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and what else can I say? Better thank you for making our time to attend this August occasion. I'm pleased to have your presence. In this midst of jubilation and diversion, I wish to thank the Almighty Father for sparing me today with my friends, with my colleagues, most especially for Bass Nigeria Limited. Yes. I don't know how to thank you, my colleagues, for organizing this because it was true your persistent worries it was because you insisted that we have this. Yes. Otherwise, you all know I am a very busy person. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. I'd like to pray for the visa. Okay, you have to go to the account office. We'll take this way. Thank you. I want you to forget this trip, okay? I can get you an American visa some other time. But why? Let's not talk about it. Have you paid? Yes. All right, then I'll, I'll get you back your money. I don't want my money. I want to go to America. Okay, okay, I know, I know. But just give me two weeks, okay? Just two weeks. I'll get you the visa and we can travel together. After my business, I come back. If you want to stay back, it's all your wish. But please, don't travel this time. I beg you for old time's sake, okay? Please. What old times are we talking about here? The same old times you betrayed me. Tricked my kid sister into bed, impregnated her, and killed her in the process of trying to abort the baby. Is that the old times we're talking about here? Nene, I'm sorry. There is no point digging old wounds now. There's absolutely no point we open the old wounds. I was, I was, I was a youth then. I didn't know anything. But now I'm much older. I'm a different man. Please, you don't have to travel this time. You know I love you. 
Yeah. You just said that. But there's no change in it. I'm going to America. Thank you. How are you? Fine. Hmm? How's the baby? Fine. Mm -hmm. Hi, Tadaya. He's fine. Everybody's fine. Yes, thank you. He's fine. Everybody's fine. Sure. The baby is too naked. I am worried. Why? Ever since you left the village, he has been from one bathroom to the other. Ma. You left the village because of bad dreams. Hmm. So, Nene, you think they are ordinary dreams, eh? They are not. They are not. Mama, you are just worried over nothing. I haven't been dreaming now. I haven't been dreaming. Nene, the first night, somebody pushed you into a river. The second night, somebody was shooting at your legs. The third night, you were climbing a mountain. You're so sitting inside the boiling pot. Anyway, I spoke to my parish priest. He now said, since you're traveling out, that I should give you this. Scapula and chaplet. So hold this. Take. Hold it. Take this. Wear it. Exactly. That's right. Don't lose it. Inona? I know I'm going to survive, right? I'm going to make it today. Then what about you? Well, I believe that by the grace of God, I should start a new life. I tend to work real hard. Hello? Hello? Yeah? What? When? Oh, no, no, no. All right, um, I'm most grateful. Thank you. No, 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 no. No, okay. Bye. Uh, lady and gentlemen, I, I'm, I'm sorry we might have to check into uh, the hotel at Borderline. Uh, just giving a message that uh, there's been a coup in Cameroon, so we might have to pass the night there. I'm sorry for the inconvenience this might cost you. 
Are we okay? Are we okay? Thank you. Thank you. Please, um, I'd like to have both three rooms. Any vacancy? Yes, we do. room rates? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to the hospital and I stood there while they took those stitches. Hey. You are a
had no choice but to shoot her. I couldn't have allowed her escape. Are you sure that she died? I shot her myself. She fell into that crocodile infested river. Those reptiles will eat her up within, within minutes. There is a crack somewhere. Then we need to investigate this matter thoroughly. Ben was seen messing around with that girl before her journey. What? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Are you saying that Ben had something to do with all of this? Precisely. As a matter of fact, the day the lady deposited her money, Tina saw her and Ben talking and later drove her in Ben's car. This she came in, informed me, I carried out my own investigation and found out that they had lunch. <laughs> this is hard to believe. Please, you don't have to travel this time. You know I love you. What is happening to me? Yesterday used to be better. I thought I had found happiness. Oh no, just because of my past, my life is sunshine. The same old times you betrayed me. So that she will die in my house. No, no, nah, she won't die. You will treat her. You are a doctor. But remember, you say that your duty is to save lives. Now, nah, please, now. Chaplet will be there too. My mother gave it to me. She said never to lose it. 
Maybe I should go back to the town. I don't think it is right to go back to the town now. I'm very much afraid of those bad people. But please now, don't go. Don't you like our village? I like your village, Ekene. Mm -hmm. Mr. Blackstone told me everything was fine when I phoned him. Mr. Blackstone did not know anything about it. That lady, Nene, nearly escaped. And it is obvious that she was acting on a T-ball from somebody. Certainly. If Abbas wasn't such a sharpshooter, I mean, we all would have been in a, in a deep shit by now. She died? You see? He is shot. That confirms it. It's been all right. Confirms what, Mr. Laval? The Confirms prince, what? The prince told us you have something to do with that lady before the movement. I said I have nothing to do with any lady. Do, Amaji, I'll do. Do okay. not deny it, Ben. Come on. You even had lunch with her. Okay, so what are you guys then saying? That I am not entitled to my private life? Not at the expense of our business. You bust the business. I bust the business I introduced. That is arrant nonsense. You guys ought to know that I cannot be that stupid. I think Ben has a point. My man tells me... He, he has no me. point, Dr. Sidney. He has no business messing around with a lady in the first instance. Well, I can't count on it. Don't you see other millions of girls out there? Will you shut up, Mr. Abdul? Work. And if I may ask you, what is your contribution to this organization? You mean you don't know that I make the visa? The first one? And will I work so at home? Have you gone out of your senses? I would not tolerate anybody talking to me the way they deem fit. I think it's high time we redefined who is who in this organization. Or I quit this moment. Ben! You seem to have forgotten the codes, Ben. The codes stipulate that we trust one another. You guys have just broken it. I quit this moment. <laughs> to wait is to die. You know it. Touch me, Simon. If you have the nerves. Well, gentlemen. This is rather unfortunate. This is the unkindest cause of all. And I will not tolerate. I will not have them betray this organization. Doctor. Mm -hmm. Doctor Sidney. <laughs> Abbas. Lowell. Have you noticed of late the sudden closeness between Doctor Sidney and Ben? I notice myself. I'm not surprised. What do you think? Very soon, we shall redefine who is who in this organization.
Much. Yes. You promise the elders you are bringing the evil woman in your house. And I've been waiting since morning. I can't bring her. What has she done wrong? Eh, hey, Much. You want to tell us that you do not know that Oyoji forbids a pregnant woman, eh? And you allowed that stranger your house to walk into Oyoji, eh? Look at the trouble she's causing the whole village. Even the essence wife is dead. And she must be his very essence wife. She did not do it very bravely, eh? The law must take its course. Over my dead body. You can't do it. Eh? Special. Wrap it up. Yes, sir. Is that exhibit? That's that's not my gun. I don't have a gun in this house. Mr. BT, your bedroom, please. Exactly what we are looking for, Mr. B. <coughs> to one, to one speaking. Do you hear me? Over. Yeah, get the men. Get your men and the ambulance over here. Over. Yeah, thank you. Over, Mr. B. Your hands, please. Doctor Sydney. Your hands, please. Your hands, please. It's 
Inspector, I didn't do this. That a pen. Your hands, please. Inspector, I did not do this. Let's go. Put that when you get to court. Listen. Can't you see somebody's trying please to set hands, me please. up? Going to tell the elders now. Okay, let's go. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
see the express. Don't you think I should take you to the just hospital? Just take me to the police station. We'll go anywhere else after that. Please. Are you sure it's a good idea? Please, let's just go to the police station. As fast as you can. As fast as, please. Say so. Please. to realize that these are far-reaching and serious allegations. They are allegations because they are yet to be investigated. And if after investigations, 
they turn out to be true, then you must have led the police force into the biggest visa racketeering scam of the decade. Everything I've written down there is true. Listen to me, Miss According to your statement, these busy people are deadly. Now, you must thank your lucky stars that you are alive today. As a matter of fact, you are only living witness. For these reasons, we would have to detain you here with us for a while. What do you mean? Well, we're going to offer you police protection. Police protection? I don't understand. I will let you go when you feel it's safe enough for you to leave. And besides, the Inspector General of Police would not like it if anything should happen to you. Bidemi! Bidemi! Sir! Take her to room 12. Yes, sir. Are you detaining her? No. It's called police protection. She is safer here. I don't understand. Let's go. Don't worry. By this time tomorrow, we'll would arrange for a safer place for her to stay. I still do not understand all of this. And remember, the police is your friend. Absolutely. I believe it. I followed them. They turned into the police station. I took a second look. It was her all right. Unmistakable. How come? They said you shot her. I don't know. It's a mystery to me how this lady surfaced. This is very serious. And she must have gone to the police. Anyway, we all have to be on the alert from now on. I'll check our residence this evening. Please do get in touch with Lara. He's in charge of that police station. I will. I've got to be on my way now. Abbas. We have to be careful. Absolutely careful. Your case is coming up Tuesday next week. I have come to clarify some issues. What exactly is your relationship with these other people, including the doctor? I have told you before, we're just business partners. We import and export goods, that's all. That's all. So what warranted the killing of the doctor and why are they pinning it on you, Ben? I don't know. Listen, you have to believe me. I did not kill Dr. Sidney. It wasn't me. So how come his body and the gun were found in your house with your fingerprints all over the gun? How on earth am I supposed to know that, Femi, for God's sake? You don't kill somebody and dump him in your wardrobe in your house now, do you? That is neither here nor there. <sighs> well, I have to go. Now, I will see you again in two days' time. And I expect that you just be more ready for me then. Take care of yourself. Everything has turned upside down. What is happening to me? Yesterday you Yes, 
but I was defending myself. Defending yes, yes. What? Nothing more to be said. Defending. Nothing. Young man, take him out, he and his family, eh? and dump them at the border village. We need your help, sir. What can I do for you? Uh, we no longer understand what is happening here. How? The DCO said uh, Nenen has been transferred to the state headquarters. I mean, f why? He said so. Oh, you open. We, we saw him earlier this morning and he told us that she has been transferred. I think the DCU has special interest in this matter. Mm -hmm. I can confidently tell you that Nene is still here. Please don't put me. But I advise you to do something fast. Okay? Good night. This is uh, please get on. Well, I don't know. So I think we have to stop seeing ourselves for now. We don't know they can tell who's watching. You are right. What about the girl? Oh, the girl, yes, she's under lock and key. That girl has to be silenced fast. That girl is a devil. Damn it! Hmm. Why don't you swap her with an armed robbery convict? Good idea. We do not have a female convict to execute for now. So? All right. It's very simple, really. I will organize a jailbreak and I'll shoot her in the process. How long would that take? Uh, a week at most. A week? That's too long. That is too long. That girl is too dangerous to live that long. Please don't push me. You've had that girl for two days and you can boggle it. That's not fair. Hey, gentlemen. What's the meaning of this? We have had so much to contend with. Ben will be appearing in court tomorrow and hear my talk. Look, it doesn't have anything against us. It's our word against is. Anyway, I have already told Alaji Audu to make sure he removes all documents concerning visa and um, passports from his office. I've already done that on my own case. You said the girl doesn't know names? Not at all. But she could point you out from the crowd. I see. That is dangerous. Chief, nothing would happen. And if only we could keep our heads down, okay? Just leave everything to me. Look, Chief, I'll see you guys now. Come on, let's get out of here. How about that? Sergeant Razak. Is it not possible that someone could have forced the accused to handle the gun even when he didn't do the shooting? I don't know of that. My job is to determine whose print is on the gun as it is. Isn't it true that there was more than one person's fingerprints on the gun? But you've been brought over to overlook the other prints. Objection, my lord. This is mere speculation. Objection sustained. Barry, stop you may choose another line of questioning. That's all I have for the witness, my lord. The witness may step down. You may call your next witness, prosecution counsel. As your lordship pleases. My next witness is Prince Simon Osazwa, a business associate of the accused. Prince Simon Osazwa, kindly step forward. Are you a Christian, a Muslim, or a pagan? I am a Christian. 
Simon or Sazer. They use where to say the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I do. So help me out. Prince Simon or Sazer. What is the accused to you? He is my business partner at Obas Nigeria Limited. Would you tell this honorable court the kind of person the accused is? Well, he is an ambitious, hard-working young man, even though he is dangerously ill-tempered. Do you know the deceased, Dr. Sidney? Yes. I once heard of him from the accused. Would you corroborate a testimony given by your partner that the deceased and the accused person were having a running battle over a lady friend? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, he threatened to kill him, even though I advised him against it. That's all I have for this witness, my lord. Any cross examination? I have no question for this witness, my lord. The witness may step down. So, madam, where do you say Chief has gone to? Chief went to see a family friend that came from America to find out from him if he ever heard from our son, Chinedu. Almost a year now, Chinedu left for America. He phoned once at that initial stage. So we are worried. Well, who wouldn't be worried? Especially with the kind of funny stories one hears these days. It's terrible, Atafa. The other day, a lady came and reported how she escaped death from the hands of some syndicates who promised her to take her to America. Escaped death? Yeah. The matter is still under investigation. The story is that this syndicate collects large sum of money from people promising to take them to America. But at the end of the day, they kill them. Either for rituals or God knows. She may do my son kill for rituals. All these bad dreams. Did your son travel through an agency? Yes. He traveled through an agency. But Atafi, what is the name of the agency lady reported of? I can't remember. But I will check it out. Madam, I have to get going. My regards to Chief, when he comes back, you don't have to worry. You don't have to worry. Can I see your boss? He's not in now. Since my son left last year, we have not heard from him. We're wondering what would be wrong with him. I'm not following you, sir. What do you mean? I mean, I don't understand what you are talking about. Look, you people collected money from our son, Chinedu, to send him to America since last year. We've come to know if you have also killed him for your son. I future. beg your pardon, madam. I think you're in the wrong place. This is Powers Nigeria Limited. And not with Success Agency? Success? Sorry, sir. It's not here. Let me speak with your boss. I just told you he's not in. Darling, let's go. I have to see the commissioner of police at once. This is really getting funny. You better than see if he's your friend. So I just... I rushed in that afternoon to pick something and on my way out, I, I saw a taxi driving towards my gate and... Mike. Yes? You should have contacted a lawyer before reporting this matter to the police. But she was in a hurry. I mean, after going through such harrowing experience. Do you have any idea why the DCO is playing pranks with this case? 
To be honest with you, I have no idea. This case has some similarity with another one I'm handling. But there are still some missing links. Tell me, does your brother's wife know one Ben Obi? Ben? Ben Obi? Yes. I wouldn't know. I, I'm not sure. I can read the handwriting on the wall. Let's get to the police station right away. All right? Ben. Ben? Ah, oh, film. Yeah. Mm. How are you? I have fresh findings that may interest you. But I must point out that your cooperation in this case has been quite poor. What are the findings? I met a lady called Nene yesterday. Which Nene? So you know her too. She's not dead. Do I assume that all she told me about your syndicate is true? I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that I left. And that's why they're after my blood. I, Finn, are you very sure she's the whole still thing, alive? The whole what? thing is just making sense now. I spoke with her yesterday. Good God, this is a miracle. As a matter of fact, she has written a petition about how she has kept death in the hands of your people. Then she really went through hell. And I can assure you, before long, your so-called business partners will be picked up one after the other. What's going to happen to me, Femi? Huh? What's going to happen to me? Well, this is family of the highest degree. You can't go free. But something can be done. If you're willing to be a state witness. That's if you're willing to testify against your colleagues in court. But of course! But of course, why not? Why not? I am ready. If you do, you might get a lighter sentence. Tell me, I'll be too glad to. I'll be very glad to. Okay? I'm very, very glad to. Just take care of yourself. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Okay? She's still alive, huh? Oh, God. <laughs> My Lord. I want to bring to the notice of this honorable court fresh evidence that might be of tremendous help to this case. Objection, my lord. My learned colleague is full dragging in this case. Objection overruled. You may proceed, defense counsel. As your lordship pleases. My lord, there is now ample evidence to the fact that the so-called Pobaz Nigerian Limited to which Mr. Simon Osazwa and the defendant belong is a visa racketeering syndicate. Objection, my lord. Yeah. My lord. My learned colleague is trying to confuse this court and put this court into pandemonium. Overruled. <laughs> Barrister Fadei, you're yet to substantiate anything. My lord, here is a document that might interest your lordship. This is a visa form issued to one Nene Naka. The address on this form corresponds with the address of Povas Nigeria Limited. I hereby tender it as exhibit. Send it to the prosecution for examination. Any objection? No, my lord. Let that document be tied out as exhibit F. As a lordship, please. Defense counsel, you may proceed. My lord, Dr. Sidney Chuma was killed in Mr. Simon Osuzwa's house and not the defendant's house. 
as at the time of the doctor's death. The defendant, the accused, was held captive in, in one of the rooms in Mr. Osozo Asazwa's house. No. Why did you come? My lord, the lady, Nene Naka, is presently under lock and key of one DSP Lawal, earlier mentioned in this case, as a member of the notorious syndicate. Objection, my lord. Why is my lord? My lord. Silence. I must warn that I cannot condemn a situation of near disorder in my court. I hereby order the police force through Inspector Clement Otafu to produce the said Nene Naka in court for the next sitting. I hereby adjourn sitting till Monday, November 11th. As the court pleases. Court! Do something fast. The lake can be very dangerous. Yes. I fear that before long, we might even turn to these accused. They won't prove anything. That is, if the girl doesn't testify. She won't. I'll take care of her tonight. She'll hang herself out of frustration. How? <laughs> right here in her cell, of course. <laughs> okay. Lower, lower. The devil himself. Gentlemen, don't worry. By this time tomorrow, it's all over. Good day, gentlemen. Now, yes, Chief. I hope so. Trust me. Move, 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 move. 
efforts to arrest uh, the, 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 the criminals. When we expect for the arrest? That is enough. That is enough. <laughs> the commissioner issued a warrant of arrest of DSP Lawa, and I carried out the arrest by myself this afternoon. DSP Lawal and all other members of his gang shall appear in court very soon. Yes, and I pray that uh, wherever your son Chinedu is, that he's alive. You don't, uh, you do believe in God, don't you? I do. Then why don't you go and pray? Pray that with God all things are possible. It's all right, thank you. Tell Chief I will see him tomorrow morning. Okay. Good night. Bye bye. Prince, if you ask my honest opinion, I, I think we should go on the ground for a while and lie low. You're very correct. The, the word is elimination. If we have to allow them to stay alive, that means we're doomed. Our survival is paramount. Yes, Sir Prince is correct. All of them should die. Lower, then, and that girl, what is her oh, name? Nene. You are Nene. All of them should die. Wallahi Akashisu. Anyway, I, I mean, there are a lot of young boys out there who are ready to be hired as assassins. But our problem remains Lawal. Lawal, who is still held under lock and key. Wallahi, let us get the bomb people to vote the cell. I know of some guys that will do that kind of job. And they're quite cheap. How about? How about how much? Well, the last time they did that kind of job for me was um, about 10,000 and a half ahead. Let's see, it's quite cheap. I'll get in touch. Anyway, um, let them be on the standby, just in case my, my angle doesn't work out.
the Where's the wall? Where's the wall? That's all. Still with him there. Prosecution counsel may proceed with the witness. My Lord, I am requesting this court to mandate the six accused persons to read this so that the witness can identify the phony voice that called his house a day after Chinedu his son traveled, purporting to be calling from New York. Objection, my lord. Your lordship, my learned colleague here intends to waste this honorable court's time by turning it into a theater and by engaging my client in a drama of sorts. Besides, the witness here is not a voice expert. 
and can make misleading claims. Objection sustained. Barrister Suji, you may change your line of questioning if you're not yet done with the witness. As your lordship pleases. My lord, I have ample evidence that shows that Chine, the son of Chief Omife, actually visited the visa agency. I have a receipt issued to the witness's son by the visa agency. Chief Omife, is this the receipt issued to your son by the visa agency? Yes, sir. Thank you. My Lord, I wish to tender this as evidence. Take it to the defense counsel for examination. Any objection? None, my Lord. The court will accept it and mark it as Exhibit H. That's all I have for this witness of truth, my lord. Any cross-examination? No, my lord. Thank you very much. Objection of a road. Barristoga, you may proceed with the cross-examination. As your lordship pleases. Mr. Ben, Obi. Did you say you willingly of your own accord and volition, without any impair or compel, decide to be a state witness? Yes. I put it to you that you are in this witness box because you went into agreement with prosecution so that you can get a lighter sentence. Objection, my lord. Objection of our road. Barristoga, you may proceed with the cross-examination. As your lordship pleases. Then, Obi, I put it to you that you are in this witness box because you went into agreement with prosecution so that you can get a lighter sentence. That is not true position of what happened. I am in this witness box because I want to satisfy my conscience. Besides, I don't see any reason why I shouldn't be punished for the crime I committed. Really? Yes. I see. Did you not plead guilty? Because you knew you had already committed murder? Of course not. And we're going to be jailed anyway? Objection, my lord. My lord, my little colleague is guilty of fallacy of assuming the consequence. Sustained. <laughs> Quiet! said that what happened to you as soon as you dived into the water? He sh shot at me several times with a gun. You can swim, right? Very well. I stayed under the waterfall several minutes. Later that day, a villager found me. I was later informed by the villagers that the river was usually filled with crocodiles. Yeah. I could have been killed. I could have been Eaten up by crocodiles.
this court in the sensational case between the state and the six men standing trial for conspiracy and murder, the presiding judge, Justice Ifani Ifatu, said the judgment shall be delivered in court's next sitting in a week's time. The judge might, however, be the dilemma over the faith of the third accused person, Ben Obi, who pleaded guilty and testified as witness for the state. Several witnesses have also testified to his repentance. It shall be interesting to see how the Honorable Judge resolves this thorny issue. To convict a man for offense he admitted committing or use discretion and free him, thereby setting judicial precedent. Whatever decision he takes, it shall certainly be a landmark. For reporting for BIM TV, this is Valerie Onyama from the State High Court. The submissions and plea for leniency of the counsel of the third accused person, Mr. Ben Obi, based on moral grounds, has been put into consideration. Finally, having considered the merits and the demerits of the case in totality, I hereby pass my judgments. For pleading guilty, the third accused person is hereby sentenced to three years imprisonment with an option of 50,000 Naira fine. I hereby find the following accused persons, Simon Osazwa, Ambrose Lawal, Tony Beju, Barnabas Osakwe, also known as Abbas, Ibrahim Audu, guilty as charged. They shall die by hanging and thereafter be buried within the prison where they last slept. That's my job. Today in this court, Justice Ifani Ifatu sentenced five of the six accused persons to death by hanging. Ambrose Lawal, one of the accused persons, was however absent in court when judgment was announced. He was said to have committed suicide in his cell early this morning. In another development, sitting in the case involving Tina Amalu and Kingsley Ojale, both ex-staff of Quick Success Agency and accused of aiding and abetting the convicted men, is to begin in the same court in two weeks' time. If you ask me, I think all the credit is due to a young woman who fought like a lion in throes of death. They call her the crown witness. I call her the lady of all seasons. Nene Naka. Oh, there she is. Right now, we'll go and speak to Nene Naka. Nene. How do you feel about the verdict of this case and your survival? Oh, I give all the adoration to God Almighty. And I want to say a special thank you to my mother for all the prayers she made throughout this period. And to this rosary and this scapula with which God performed the miracle. I want to especially thank Mike for standing by me throughout this period. And then to the AIG of police and the entire police force, Thank you for restoring our confidence in you. We had given up completely. Thank you very much. This is Valerie Onyama reporting for BIM Television. Papa. 
protection I don't understand I will let you go when you feel it's safe enough for you to leave and besides the inspector general police would not like it if anything should happen to you Bidemi Bidemi sir take her to room 12 yes sir are you detaining her? No. It's called police protection. She is safer here. I don't understand. Let's go. Don't worry. By this time tomorrow, we'll would arrange for a safer place for her to stay. I still do not understand all of this. And remember, the police is your friend. Everything I've been through. 
with his relatives to chance. Yet no reply. All because he's married to a white woman. He knew he was married to a white woman. Why did he come to me? Why? Just look at my condition. Why did he get me pregnant? Why? I just don't know why this child just won't die or disappear or go away. Just, just leave me alone. I don't want to hear that from you at all, Nene. Don't say that again. I don't want to hear it. Do I explain this to the world? Do I explain this? Nene, I am your mother. You don't need to explain anything to anybody. You are legally married to Charles. This child is not fatherless. I have lost too many people in my lifetime. I don't want to lose anyone. I have lost your father. I have lost Apollonia. I have lost Nkiruka. I cannot afford to lose you. I cannot afford to lose this child. He's my first grandchild, remember? I want him. Have him for me. What this child will eat will not be lacking. The Lord that is bringing him will provide what he will eat. Exactly. You will not starve. I am serving a living God. And I know that the Blessed Virgin Mary will continue to intercede for us. I knew it, that one day Charles will come back. Why were we waiting for him to come back? Oh, I want you to concern yourself with the delivery of this baby. I need everything to God. Yeah. Uh -huh. 